All right, I'm back. Yes, take three. Uh, had some computer issues, then had to step out of the house. So I'm back. Let's take a quick look at everything that happened just in the past couple days. Now, I'm just going to really quickly show you a picture that I posted in my community page. Tucker Carlson. Yes, with his red Kabbalah bracelet. So we know who he is, but of course he's on Fox News, and I think they're all the same behind closed doors because they're all owned by the same people, right? We understand that here. And Maria Vaitala, again, I just wanted to clarify on these pictures really quickly. I'm sure you're seeing it, the eye, the hand, maybe it's the M sign, I don't know, and the peacock. Well, there's a lot to say about this. Those are my quick first thoughts on those, but as I say, there's more for you to look at, especially on the peacock and the symbolism behind that. But hey, who knows? But we know who she is because she's on TV. That says and speak volumes, right? And there she is making fun of those people who are researching and understanding the truth behind everything that's going on, calling it, I'm not going to say the word just in case, but you see what I'm saying. But we know who she is, you know, having the tongue stick out like Kali, right? Just like all the others out there who do the same thing. I'm not going to get into it with the getting her awards and her prizes. Yeah, they're going to get all of that but we know who they are, right? And she's a weird one, just to say the least. But sure, all those that want to stay blind to everything, just keep on watching the news and trusting them, like always, and just ignore what I'm saying. But as for the double meaning behind Santa Marin and the money, <laughs> yeah, well, there is double meaning. And of course, we think that the American dollar is going to be plummeting. I mean, we can see it. We understand that. Is it going down the toilet? Yeah, I think all the money is soon going to go down the toilet because they want everyone in the Bitcoin and everything else, right? And then Elon Musk we have here with 44 billion. Ah, oh, yes, the takeover. The 44. Another 44. I'm just saying. All right, Liz Truss resigns after 44 days, you know, six weeks. And even um, the Simpsons might have even had a prediction of this. Oh, wow. Really? Interesting. Oh, this is just a comedy hour. That's all I'm saying. It's theater. But hey, let's just bring in the sink, right? Right? Oh, this is hilarious. Why would they be? Why would he be doing this? There's got to be something more to this. And you just look at the co-investors of this, the Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison and the Saudi prince Al-Walid bin Talal, oh, and the 13 million. 13. Of course they have to bring that in. Plus, I'm just going to show you really quickly who these brothers are. I don't need to say more. I know who they are. And whether Sink had symbolism, well, you know there was something else to that. He would not be bringing in even his own suitcase by himself. We understand. But hey, I've got a sinking feeling there's more to the story, right? <laughs> but I don't care. All I know is they're wanting to keep him in the news as well as Kanye West. Kanye. Uh, they're wanting everyone to be in outrage is how I see it. The Christians, you know, and everyone pulling under him. Yeah, you know, but I just can't forget about his past. I'm sorry. It's not that easy. But hey, all I'm saying is it all looks the same like always. Even with Donda, you know, you're seeing the eye symbolism. You're seeing the oculus above him, right? Yeah, just like in his Sunday services. I don't trust him. I'm sorry. And anyone who is trusting him and saying, just give him a break, you're obviously leading and keeping everyone on the wide path. And I was watching a show. I'm not going to say who. If you ask me, I'll share my opinion and who it was below. But I don't now trust him at all. It's a huge red flag. And I'm just wondering, you know, if that channel as well as others, are just like Kanye West himself and Candace, they're all, you know, controlled opposition. So is that channel now controlled? I, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to do a video on it. I'm just saying, anyone who tells you to trust someone, or especially Kanye, oh my goodness, stay on the narrow path. Trust God, not others, not man. Okay. And yeah, I mentioned someone in France dying, Pierre Soulage. Oh, uh, yes, he dies at 102, beyond black. That's all he did was black paintings. Look at, look at them. I mean, he got his prizes and his awards, and he even said, I could not see any symbol, uh, particular symbolism to it. Uh, that's not his voice, I don't know. But he's got his face on all magazines, so we know who he is. He's gotten his awards. But look at that. I mean, I, 
I could do that. Any five-year-old can do that. Just unbelievable. He might as well have stood there with a cube and, you know, been worshipping the cube because that's all I'm seeing. You know, you're seeing the cube show and celebrities in cubes. There are cubes everywhere, even in the UN, the UN meditation room. We understand. So you know they know what it stands for. And so, yeah, interesting. He's standing there with someone else. Oh, sorry, I didn't put Bob as a capital. But you know, showing off his award. I mean, just interesting. But he also is a part of a fraternity, the American Academy of Arts, of course. Of course. And they give out their own awards. I'm not going to get into that. Even Eero Saarinen's there, you know, the one who's an architect here from Finland, who's been, you know, to St. Louis, and he's done the MIT Chapel. He went to Cranbrook School, which has a lot of symbolism to it, too. But even the CBN building. I mean... <laughs> Even that's considered a black rock because it's black. But hey, we see that black cube everywhere. Let's keep going. Leslie Jordan passes away at 67. I noticed that in America, Good Morning America, and I don't always go over there, but I happen to. And I remember him from the cool kids, you know? That's the last show I saw when I was visiting Florida. But he's won his awards, and yes, he's showing his signs. And if that's not a sign enough for you, maybe this one will be. I mean, clear as day, right? So we know who he is. I mean, he's an interesting man, to say the least, right? Very flamboyant, flashy, what colors, but boy, oh boy. Anyway, um, Mike Birch also passed away. They mentioned all these names, so I'm, that's why I'm sharing it. And I didn't know who he was. He was a yachting guy who's won some awards, right? Of course, look at the route du drum, and you see the pyramids symbolism there, the numbers on his boats, but first transatlantic race the O-Star. O-Star. I mean, you know, first of all, he has to have a lot of money in order to be on yachts, but the O-Star. And I started looking and thinking, oh, it's the star. The star has fallen, you know, the sun and the morning star. Many, you know, know, Satan has many names. I'm not going to go into that. All I can tell you is that's what they're talking about. And they show all their symbolism everywhere. That's all I can say. But he wrote a book and the book had this in it, the red thread. And I was just thinking, you know, this would go perfectly with Tucker and his red bracelet. Yeah, you know, but anyway, sure. Look at and research into all the, all these things, including Mike Birch. All I can say is just add your thoughts below. It always helps me and it helps others. And just be patient with others because there's a lot of people that are very new to all this. So if you can't answer kindly or in a short manner, just leave it to someone else. All right. But I do appreciate you guys. I really do. It's helpful to me and others when you share. All I can say is this world is not my home. I'm just happy that it's the weekend because as we all know, we're just passing through. We need to take a deep breath and enjoy the weekend. All right. God bless you guys. Take care. That's it for today. Enjoy the weekend. Till next time.